looks so, 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 so good. I have a hair appointment in 30 minutes. I actually should be leaving now. I don't like to go to my hair appointments hungry. I'm about nine weeks post relaxer. It doesn't look like it because I straightened my hair this weekend. All right, gotta go. Can't even finish this. guys so this is the finished product of my hair I love it looks so good we did a blunt cut so she trimmed off about an inch off of my hair which I definitely needed and I wanted I was gonna do a short bob but I think I'm gonna do that next time but yeah this is what my hair looks like love it I'll show you guys more when I get home because my battery is gonna die so see y'all in a little bit As you can see, I am dealing with a lot of thinning. My edges are very thin right now. I'm gonna tell you guys why. In the last couple of months that I've had my hair relaxed, I have only done two protective styles. I did one protective style when I was going to Miami. I did some twists, which I loved them. And I did another protective style where I did a sew-in this past December for the holidays. However, right before the sew-in is when I started dealing with the most breakage. The stylist that I went to, she literally over processed my hair and she brought the relaxer all the way over here but then I went ahead and did a sew-in I wasn't taking care of my hair as much when I was in the sew-in I was you know straightening my leave out a lot which then caused a lot of breakage do I blame the stylist no because I didn't really talk to her about how I went my hair I like my hair to be really textured and I didn't tell her that. I don't know why I just assumed that she'd know. Yeah, basically December was just not a good month for my hair. I just got back from the salon. I got these boho braids done. We're going to Miami this week, so I really just wanted to get a low maintenance hairstyle, something that I can just, you know, get up, do my makeup and go, nothing that I have to touch on vacation. I really like to be low maintenance on vacation, so these are my braids. I love them. So in the last clip, I was kind of talking a lot about like my hair and the damage that I've dealt with in the last like couple of months. All in all, do I regret being relaxed? No, I do not. Even though I'm going through some hair crises in the front of my hair, although I'm dealing with a lot with my edges, um, I still stand by being relaxed. I still stand by it. I still love my relaxed hair. I still think that was the best decision for me ever because there was a time where I just was not wearing my real hair. Like I was staying under a wig, I was staying under braids, and I would never wear my real hair. This is the first time in a long time where I'm actually like really comfortable with just wearing my real hair out and about. So no, I don't regret going relaxed, although I'm dealing with some setbacks. And I, I will say I am dealing with some setbacks, I'm not afraid to say that. I still don't regret it, I still love my hair, I just wanna give it some more, some TLC, do some like low manipulation stuff. I was telling the people who did my braids, I was like, be careful with my edges, you know. I went to a shop that's predominantly, you know, African run and I'm African, so I can say this. Africans tend to be really aggressive with the edges. So yeah, they just braid tight in general. So I was just telling them, lay off of the edges, be gentle. And she was really gentle with my edges, which is good. So yeah, and I made sure to do like pretty medium sized braids. So it wasn't too much tension on my natural hair and she could do bigger parts 
which then, you know, helps with like growth of your hair and all that stuff. So actually, I don't know if that helps with the growth of your hair, but I'm just assuming. <laughs> Yeah. So right now I'm just on a journey to bringing my hair back to health. I just want to get my hair back healthy. So this summer you are going to see me in a lot of braids. I did purchase a wig, even though I said I wouldn't do a wig anymore. I purchased a custom wig, so that was made custom. And I'm gonna get it professionally installed next month after I take these out. I think the wig will be perfect for next month because we have another dreamy launch coming up, which is super exciting. And I have a wedding that I'm going to at the end of next month. So I just think that the wig would be perfect for those two events. I want to go back and forth between the wig and braids and the wig and braids, just constantly keeping my hair braided up, obviously treating my relaxed hair in between installs because I do want to bring my hair, my relaxed hair, back to life and get back to being super thick and stuff. So I will be in some cute braids this summer. I won't always get braids like this though because like this synthetic hair be getting really messy and I'm really nervous about it. Honestly, I'm scared that it's not gonna last until our trip, but yeah. <laughs> that is kind of my plan for my relaxed hair. Just bring it back to health, treat it a bunch, put my hair in braids, do a lot of like low manipulation on my actual hair because I feel like that caused a lot of breakage too. Obviously heat can cause a lot of breakage. I always get comments about that. Be careful about the heat. I know, I'm heat happy. I like having my hair straight, whatever. Yeah, this is my hair. So, 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 so cute. I'll leave the salon that I go to down below here in Austin. But yeah, guys, I'm definitely gonna be vlogging in Miami, so a Miami vlog should be coming soon. I got some new bathing suits, so I'm gonna be doing some, you know, bathing suit try-ons here soon. So be prepared for a bunch of, like, bathing suit videos. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. So cute. <laughs>